Hey guys, I'm back. So, if you remember, I made an unboxing on the 2003 Godzilla and the NECA 1989 Godzilla. So, here are the reviews on them. So, here they both are. Now, I'm going to move them to the side and I'm going to show off 89's box. Now, this is the first part. It looks good. Here's the side. Here's the side. This other side. Oh boy, there's the beam effect. Hold on. The side, the top, the bottom, the top, and the the inside of what you're getting, and the back as well, where you can actually read the thing right there. However, as you see, it is actually bent because it was in bad condition. Thanks a lot. And then there's the Tokyo SOS Godzilla. Um, there's the front, the side, which we won't get these guys anytime soon, because, I mean, the NECA license is ending, so you can't really do anything about it. That, this other side, the bottom, the top, the back of what you're getting, and as well, what's here. Wish they included something like 89, but... Let's start off with the main sort of inferior figure, or my favorite sort of Godzilla design, Godzilla 2003. Now, the painting and sculpting on 2003 is all right. Let's start off with the head. Now, the head kind of bothers me. So, as you see, the head has a weird shape. A weird shape that kind of bothers me. And it does not look that good. However, at least it tries. At least it tries to bring out Kiryu Goji's signature look. And I do think it opens the jaw a lot better than um, 1989, but it does not look messy. The eyes, on the other hand, you can't see it, but they are very derpy. But not as like horribly bad as 2002, as H Monster Arts. The sculpt is still phenomenal throughout the neck area, despite the head. It tries its best at trying to make the sculpt pop. And it does. It does. However, it, it kind of gets ruined once you go and move it. If you move it, it always just ruins it. That's why I refuse to move it. The arms look pretty good. And you can even make the signature pose he even has on the poster, or any other Godzilla's usually have, which is nice. Not, but not enough shading at the nails, which is sad, but I can't really expect so that much. The sculpt is on the body is also another problem I have with it, but it doesn't really bother me as much. Because, one, I didn't really like how he's so, um, skinny. Like, really fat. Well, not really fat skinny just really really fat i didn't really like it because it looked kind of odd i always liked kiryu goji me a lot more slim of course the dwarf boys having there's nice sculpt and shape which is nice and the nice thick legs and the nice heels and pretty much everything like that with the nice nails and nice kneecaps and oddly i always find kiryu goji's feet looking like um the 2001 Godzilla, and of course having arguably the long, sort of longest tail from the NECA Godzilla line. I think probably the same as Shin. But the door splits are sort of nicely painted all the way to the tip, which is nice and dandy. Now, I'll start off with Kiryu Goju's articulation. Now, his articulation, head is on a ball joint, so he can look up and down. His jaw is on a nice hinge joint. However, his neck is on a ball joint. However, I don't like it as much because it just ruins the skull. It does not look okay. It just ruins the skull. However, that kind of... At least it gives room for arm posability so you can go 360 with the arms. Go Some flapping motion. Nice hinge-jointed elbows that act as a bicep swivel, a bend at the hand that also acts as a wrist swivel, and a hinge jointed fingers, waist swivel, which is really good, 
and you can go back that far and up that far, down that far. Of course, there's an ab crunch. Um, legs are a bit tight. He has 360, so he can do not do any kicks. Not enough flapping motion with the spread. A very tight thigh. Really tight knee or thigh, which you could swivel. And also, oh boy, a ball jointed feet and a I think like a 9 or 10 ball joint, 8, 9 or 10 ball joint segment to tail with a bendy wire. Kind of makes sense, and I think it's a lot stronger than, let's say, all the NECA Godzilla's originally. Posability is a bit limited, but can't understand for Kiryu Goji, and for the tail, it's not that bad. Now let's go on to the main figure that I love the most, Bio Goji. The sculpting is phenomenal. Despite even though the head is a bit inaccurate. What I heard from Steven's toy reviews, well, review on this guy, he says he looks a lot more like the 89. He looks a lot more like the 89 suit, which, well, like the 91 suit, not the water suit. I originally thought it was a water suit, but once I heard it was from the, um, the 891 suit, I was like, oh, okay, never mind. The teeth look pretty good, pretty good. Well, actually not that good, but a little bit better than some monster arts. The sculpt still even tries, even though the head looks kind of like a cat or even more as my dad said, a dog. The eyes, on the other hand, are way too vibrant because not 89 or 91 had very brown eyes, which look nice. And the sculpt still tries throughout the entire figure, even on the hands, which look pretty good. You can even get that nice muscle the de muscle de detail unlike the 94 figure which it missed out on that and it doesn't and it looks pretty good on the crotch and even has a nice thick thighs unlike 94 and even try and has a nice feet and stuff nice kneecaps everything has a nice smooth nice tech rough texture on like 94 and has a nice shading at toenails and the dorsal plates look pretty good all the way to the tail which looks kind of painted but it's fine look at it now let's go over articulation on this guy head is on a ball joint so he can look up and down he also has a nice wide jaw which does not look that good it's kind of bad it's kind of but what but you can actually fiddle around with it Arms are on a sort of ratchet joint that is really, really tight. That is that can also go 360, if I even try. A sort of biceps up on the arms that act as a bend. A hin a very tight hinge joint at the hands and that act as the wrist swivel and a finger articulation. He also has a nice 360 waist articulation, and also acts as a nice ab crunch. Has a lot more flapping motion with the thighs, but cannot go 360. Excuse me. Um, they cannot go, like, up and down. But they're on, there are, they all, they can swivel. There also is a very tight knee gap or th knee, well, thigh swivel, which is very, very tight, and a nice bend, which is not as tight compared to 2003, and the ball joint at a, the foot has a nice ankle tilt, and a very, a, I think a, eight ball joint segmented tail. Sorry about the camera which acts as a monster arts tail, to be honest. With no bendy wire, it looks like a monster arts tail. And usually the 94 Godzilla can't do that. Now, accessory-wise, 2003 comes, doesn't come with anything. However, 89 comes with an atomic breath piece. 
If you see the teeth moldings there, and as you see inside, there's a little hole, you can put that in that is sculpted within the mouth. And it does look nice. It's like the spiral blue, spiral ray, but blue. Now, size comparison. You can see that 2003 is a lot bigger compared to 89. I mean, bro, he is massive. If I can even stand him right. There we go. So, um, so there they are. Here's the ruler. And he's around almost seven inches. This guy's almost seven. And this one is just the standard sort of six inch Godzilla. Or now overall 89 is the better figure over 2003 2003 has a few kinks in the cog in terms of articulation at the neck and sculpt at the head and eyes and some of the painting also especially how my dad pointed out that this you know 2003 godzilla it should be a more molded within the skin but that's fine you can get a Climax 2003, to be honest. But, um, I do think if you want a Kyrie Goji, Goji, or SOS Goji, that's very worth, that's worth, that if you're on a budget for, and you, you, it's cheaper than, like, the Monster Arts, which, you know, it's pretty expensive now, I suggest go get this guy. It, however, I do think he's not that bad. 89 is perfect. I know there's a few kinks in the cog with the head and, like, the jaw and stuff like that and the eyes, but you can already fix that. I mean, we already have a tutorial by Godzilla 154. However, what I do like is that it just, it looks so much better than, like, the 94 Godzilla mold, which, I mean, was one of the weaker figures back then. Of course, being NECA's ending Godzilla line, there's not going to be, there's no fixing with 2003, sadly. But I suggest go get 89. But if you want 2003, go ahead. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share it with your friends. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.